Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nikira Techies. In this video, I am going to explain how to upgrade our Angular application into version 16. So basically, if you are doing any upgrade in Angular application, we have to note two important steps. The first one is make sure we should have the basic needs. So that includes the package versions and also the system requirement. The second thing is we have to work for the deprecated items. So that means in the lower version some of the function or classes that may be deprecated for the advanced version we have some other options okay. So we have to work for that. So similarly in this angular 16 also we have some basic needs. So the first thing is we should have the node.js version is 16 or 18 okay. So in case if you have the lower version make sure you have to upgrade your node.js. So just to go to the browser and type like a node.js. So in this first link itself, you have to download the latest package based on your OS, download and install it. Okay. So in my case, already I have installed. See my node version. It is 8.14. Okay. So once our node.js is fine, we have to upgrade our Angular CLI. So that also comes under the system setup. So if you already installed the Angular CLA in our machine, so make sure you have to uninstall. After that, execute the Angular CLA install command. So it will install the latest version of Angular CLA. So the second thing is, so the application have the TypeScript, that version should be 4.9.3 or a latest version, okay? So currently the TypeScript latest version is 5.13. And the third one is son.js, the needed version is 0 0.13. Okay. For doing this implementation, I am having one Angular 15 application. So those people are following my Angular material video. So I have created that series in this Angular 15 only. So the same application only I am going to use for this implementation. Okay, it covers a lot of component. So let me show you. Okay, this is my application. If you noted in this package.json. You can see this angular version 15.0 okay and the two more things we have noted the first one is this zone.js the expected version is 0 0.13 but currently we have this 0 0.12 similarly for the typescript the expected version is 4.9 or a later currently we are having this 4.8 only okay so then we have to upgrade both the packages next we can see angular upgrade guide okay upgrade guide so in this first link here we have to choose this from version 15 and targeted version is 16.0 ok and this application complexity let me have this as the basic only so once I am clicked I will get all the information so here also they are saying the first thing is we should have the node.js version 16 or 18 the typescript is 4.9 and the zone.js version is 0 0.13 and also we have some deprecated items okay so anyway once we are doing this upgrade if we face any error we can work for that so for this video as I mentioned currently I'm having the application version is 15 I'm going to upgrade into 16 so in case if you have the version is 14 so in this case we cannot directly upgrade 14 to 16 so the first step is make sure we have to upgrade to 15 so after that only we can upgrade into angular 16 okay so here also if you noted they provided the same steps only so they actually want to execute this command so these commands will upgrade our application into 15 after that we have to upgrade to 16 okay so now we can follow the steps so in this application I am going to execute ng update at angular slash cli at 16 then at angular slash core 16 and the third one is angular slash cdk 16 so already we have this material UI also then make sure we have to upgrade our material UI so let me provide angular slash material at 16 okay so let me execute this command 
so mostly it will upgrade the framework sometime it will upgrade the dependency packages also if something is not happen we have to execute manually okay it is updating all the packages one by one so basically it will take some time approximately one to two minutes so the angular upgrade is almost completed so now you can see it is upgraded the angular framework and also it is upgraded the dependency package so now we can see this son.js it is upgraded to 0.13.1 this is the latest version so similarly our typescript that also upgraded to the latest version 5.1.3 and all of our angular frameworks are in this 16.1.1 okay and we have some important notes so if you check the here so in this section we can see what are the packages got upgraded so this angular dev kit is eli compiler cli these are the common packages okay and also we have some additional command so that is for the migration script executed for some deprecated items okay first one is remove default project for that we don't have any changes and the second one is replace removed default collection here also we can see the migration is completed there is no changes and the next one is update the angular dev kit build angular server so builder configuration to disabled build optimizer for non optimized build okay so here also the migration is completed there is no changes so then update this angular cdk to 16 so that also completed and the next thing is from angular 15.2 so in this card option the resolver interfaces such as can activate resolve etc that are deprecated so we have alternate options since in this application we don't have this can activate so there is no changes so anyway this can activate is one of the important item regarding this authentication related activities so it is deprecated and also we have the alternate option so anyway i will create the separate video for this can activate okay and the next one is from this angular 16 the model id property of at component is deprecated it is no longer has any effect so we had none of the property it's called model id so since we are not using we are not going to bother anything and our angular material also got updated okay so these are the angular upgrade nodes now i am going to execute our npm install command okay okay there is no error let me run this application so application is running without any error we can see some of the important components the menu section is loading fine and in this slider this table so currently in this table we don't have any records so because our json server api is not running so let me run our json server api also so let me refresh the screen see the data are loading and this detail so our pop-up component also working so currently we don't have any error so everything is working fine now we successfully upgraded our angular 15 material UI application into angular 16 so here after if i am creating any material UI video i will continue in this angular 16 only okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching